Hi, how are you? Good, how was your set tonight? It was fantastic. Well, at least I think it was fantastic. I had an awesome time, and uh, this is my second class with Janice, and I have to say it was a great, great evening. I had such a blast. Thank you so much for asking. Keep it going. Welcome to the stage. Your next comic, welcome Joanne Ducher. Hi everybody, having a good time? Right. Excellent. I've got a birthday coming up. Yay! Yeah, yeah. In two years. I'm turning 60. But you gotta start now. Apparently 60 is the new 40, and all the 60-year-olds are nipping and tucking and Botoxing. Well, I'm here to tell you Botox is for amateurs. I use embalming fluid. <laughs> It works great, although you do end up looking a bit like a bobblehead. You can crack an egg on your cheek, hard as a rock. And I overdosed the other day and wound up half buried. <laughs> and it's got some side effects. I've had kind of stiff knees lately, went to the doctor, he said, oh, it's okay, it's just a touch of rigor mortis. <laughs> But it does come with an awesome guarantee. It lasts forever, dead or alive. <laughs> but you only get one expression per dose, and I chose grin, <laughs> which didn't go over so well at my mother-in-law's funeral. <laughs> People kept coming up to me, oh, Joanne, I'm so sorry for your loss. Whoa, obviously you're not. <laughs> now I am, I'm sad, I'm, I'm terribly sad. Well, at the funeral home, we looked into cremation, and you have two choices to make. You have to have a coffin and then an urn. Well, for the cremation coffins, these are your options. Plywood, particle board, and a cardboard box. Basically, what you're saying is, I love my family member, yeah, somewhat ambivalent, and you're getting the same burial as the cat. <laughs> And then when it comes to the urn, we looked at the cheapest option, which is their green option. It's described as biodegradable paper. Okay, it's cardboard. And yet they wouldn't let us use a shoebox. My husband's a hypochondriac, and um, I recently found out the only reason he married me is he heard that married people live longer. So, I bumped up his life insurance and threatened divorce, and I figure it should be paying off any time now. <laughs> is a good one. <laughs> I'm a realtor and I sell condominiums for a living, which I love, but really I do have a problem with people. I had a lady in the other day, and every room she walked into, she kept saying, I can see myself here. I can really see myself here. Well, I kept my distance. Obviously, she was having some sort of outer body experience. <laughs> and then she starts saying, I could paint this and really make it my own. No, you can pay for it. That's how you make it your own. <laughs> Unclear on the concept. An ambulance went by and I said, hey, your ride's here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really that mean. Although I am pissed off at my GPS, I made her very mad recently, Siri, when I changed route, and all of a sudden I get this attitude, where are you going, Joanne, um, to get gas? But your tank is full, Joanne. Um, okay, I have to go to the bathroom, do you mind? But your bladder is only half full, Joanne. <laughs> she freaked me out so bad I ran out of gas and pissed my pants. <laughs> well, ever since, she's been mad at me, and she's been trash-talking me to the car and my crock pot. So, I said, Siri, baby, sorry, time to pull the plug. Got rid of her. That's my time. Thank you so much.